Now in this question, we're given that y equals 1 over 4 plus the root of x minus 1, and asked to complete this table of values. I've actually put in the values that you've got to complete for x equals 3 and x equals 5, giving your answer to four decimal places. So you should find that you get these when you substitute 3 and 5 then into your equation. But in the next part, we're asked to use the trapezium rule with all the values of y that we found in this table to obtain an estimate for this integral, where i equals the integral from 2 to 5 of y, essentially, with respect to x. And we've got to give our answer to three decimal places. So if we're using the trapezium rule, essentially what we've got is this graph. If we were to plot this graph, say, of y against x, it might look something like this. And we've got our values going from 2 to 5. And you've got, I've inserted 3 and 4 in as well. So when we're working out an integral, from 2 to 5, we're essentially finding the area under the graph between x equals 2 and x equals 5 to the x-axis. And the trapezium rule gives us an approximation to that area as working out the areas of trapeziums that join these points together. Okay, And you should be familiar with the trapezium rule formula. But just as a reminder, here it is. And you can find tutorials on this on my website if you're still a bit confused. But essentially we've got the area is approximately equal then to half the width of a strip. Now the width of a strip will be going in this example from 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. And you can see that that width is one unit. And then it's the first height, it'll be this height here plus twice the sum of the middle heights, that'll be twice this height plus this height, and then plus the last height. So we can apply the formula then, and so we can say, well, we can't say it's equal to, we can say that it's approximately, so we'll do a wavy line like that, it's approximately the same as half the width of a strip, so that's going to be half times and as I said earlier, the width of a strip, you can see, is 1. So put the 1 in, and then it's multiplied by the first height. And the first height is the first y value, in this case 0 0.2. Then it's plus twice the sum of all the middle heights. That would be these two y values. So that would be 0 0.1847 plus the next y value, 0 0.1847. 1745 and then it's plus the last height. The last height here will be 0 0.1667. So 0 0.1667. And if you use your calculator to work that out, this i value then the integral will turn out to be approximately 0 0.54255. But we need to give this to three decimal places, so this is going to be 0.543 to three decimal places, 3 dp. All right, so a bit of a breakdown then on how we use the trapezium rule. So I hope that's given you an idea then how to do this question.